Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Hi, Dr. Laura Berman. Thank you for joining me here live in the Valder Beebe Studios in Dallas, Texas. Thanks for having me. Well, I listen to you on Sirius. I, I, I love your show because you, you feel the variety of questions, and they're not always about sex. But today, you're going to talk to us, my audience, about rekindling romance in the bedroom. That's right. All right, then. Well, I don't know. According to the commercials on the TV, Dr. Berman, everybody's got problems. Some kind of problem. <laughs> right. Well, most of us do. But it's interesting because uh, KY just recently did a study, and what they found is that 60% of people in relationships are really longing to recreate that feeling of falling in love. And 70% of men, no surprise there, wish their partner would introduce new things. Um, but a quarter of women and a third of men don't really know what to do, how to do it, how to inject that novelty into their relationship. Okay, so what are some of the things that we can do? Because people are giving us so many different takes on what to do. And I kid you not, I interview people who are doing this show called Sex Box. Believe it or not, you know, you go in a box on stage and you have sex <laughs> and you come up, And I don't find that romantic. No. Maybe I'm just old-fashioned. Okay. You know, everybody's different to each their own. But here's the thing. When you're in a new relationship, it's easy, right? Everything's easy. You're discovering each other. Your sex lives are through the roof. The connection's great. And in fact, the neurologic studies have shown that when you're newly in love, the dopamine centers of the brain, the reward slash addiction centers of the brain are lighting up like crazy. And then that starts to sort of die down as the novelty goes away and the predictability sets in. But when you step outside your comfort zone, and it doesn't mean going and having sex in a box on stage, it can be something much more low, low key, not even close to that. But if you step a little bit outside of your comfort zone and mix it up a little bit, it can stimulate the dopamine centers of your brain and recreate your, those feelings of falling in love and increase your libido. So it could be you know, something as simple as going to your local drugstore and walking through the you know, intimacy aisles and picking up, you know, a KY yours and mine couples lubricant, you know, for some like fun, cute, non-threatening, not too racy way to sort of inject some novelty. Or maybe it's talking about your fantasies together and coming up with some common denominators, some role plays or fantasies that you'd like to act out, both of you together, and you know, put them on little pieces of paper, stick the little pieces of paper in a box, and every once in a while pull one out and play with it. Okay, I gotta ask you this, with the new movie coming out mm -hmm. called Fifty Shades or whatever it is, <laughs> uh, people are gonna now want to, to inject those kind of things <laughs> into their, their lifestyle. Yeah. And I'm going like, you know, really, I, I don't think that's for everybody. So yeah. to be on the safe side, you, I think you should develop a relationship. Find out what the other person likes. Find out what they don't like. Yeah. Work on that. Yeah. Maybe I'm, am I on the right track here, Doc? Absolutely. And honestly, you know, while there are some people that are really turned on by the idea of pain, 
I think, and I've spent a lot of time looking at this and talking to hundreds and hundreds of women in particular about their reaction to this series, you know, to the Fifty Shades of Grey series and even to the movie coming out or being out, is that um, what, what really is the turn on for women are two things. One, the idea of surrendering control to someone who not only is ready to take it, knows what to do with it, knows how to take care of you sexually and has your best interests at heart but also this idea of, um, you know, which is like in every fairy tale, not, you know, including Fifty Shades of Grey, that you're so enchanting and desirable and lovable that he changes for you and that he falls in love with you in a way that he's never loved anyone. And whether that's Prince Charming or Christian Grey, that seems to light up women's libidos when they feel that. So that's important for men to know when she feels enchanting to you when you see the things that are uniquely hers that excite you and inspire you and you express that to her and you invest in your romantic kissing cuddling without it always being part of foreplay that stimulates her libido okay dr berman i love listening to you because you talk so clinical uh, but you don't talk detached, and you, you're so very clear in your communication. What gives you that ability to, to be able to relay that to us like that? Uh, you know, I don't know. I think I just feel it and know it and want to help. And I was lucky enough to have the rare, rare experience of growing up in a family where these sorts of conversations weren't taboo or wrong or bad or dirty. So, you know, from an early age, I was comfortable talking about this sort of thing. And I think that probably helps. Well, it probably helps us want to be, you know, uh, connected to getting information from you. Tell me, where can we hear you again? I know where we can hear you, but tell my listening audience. Yeah, well, I, I actually have a, a nightly show um, called Uncovered Radio on regular radio, but you can go to uncoveredradio.com. But if you want more uh, tips and tools, you can go to k-y.com or you can check out my website, drlauraberman.com. Dr. Laura Berman, you are our therapist for the 21st century. I really appreciate what you do. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having thank me. Thank you.